All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another quick video. All right, y'all, back with some quick flyweight news. Shout out to MMA Orbit and Burt MMA on IG. Well, it looks like Manon Fierro is the official backup fighter. She's going to be that official backup fighter for Grasso Shevchenko 3. Just in case there's any issues with the title fight, Manon, she'll be ready to step in against either fighter. And this was all according to her manager, Aldrete Casada. He had posted this up on his IG, and uh, MMA Orbit posted it on Twitter. This is what uh, the post from MMA Orbit says. Manon Fiore's manager, Aldrete Casada, has told BoxMag.com that the plan is for Fiore to be in Vegas and serve as the backup fighter for the UFC Noche co-main event between Alex Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko. They also added Casada believes Fiore will fight for the title at the end of the year or early next year. And at the bottom, Bert, he also added this. He said uh, Manon is confirmed to be the backup fighter. And we'll weigh in and step in should either fighter pull out. So, yeah, she's going to weigh in, go through the whole process just in case Grass or Shevchenko pulls out. You know, she'll step in. So that's good news. Good news, man. Um, Yeah, my thoughts on this whole situation. This is good. This is good. You know, I know a lot of people wanted to see Manon step in anyway. Everybody's getting tired of seeing the Shevchenko, Grasso. Well, I won't call it debacle, but Grasso, Shevchenko rivalry now, you know, even though this is just the third fight. You know, it's not like four or five fights. You know, there's always been a rivalry like this in different weight classes, you know, different divisions. So I'm kind of used to it. And at this point, look, I would love to see Manon step in and fight, but I do want Grasso and Shevchenko to close this chapter out. So this is good for Manon right now to, you know, just be serving as the backup. You know, I know Manon has been staying sharp and training consistently after the Aaron fight. You know, she's been in the gym working over the past few months after that fight, just in case anything happens. You know, she already kind of voiced her opinion on that in her last interview. You know, she said that um, she's going to be staying sharp just in case, you know, Valentina doesn't take the fight or whatever happens. You know, or if they throw another fight at her, you know, it has to make sense. So she was just going to say, OK, I'm going to stay ready. But really, since there's nobody left for her to fight at this point, you know, I really don't mind her waiting for the title. You know, I think it's smart. I think it is smart because if grasso and shevchenko fight in september there is a big possibility that the champ whoever wins that fight could return at the end of the year which would only be what three months away you know we've seen that done before right we've seen champions fight in september then fight at the end of the year and like december so i think that's a big possibility right there and then you know manon wouldn't have had to wait that long you know um nine months you know we've seen people wait longer you know her last fight was at the end of march against aaron and then say they say they schedule they schedule uh the title fight for Manon at the end of December. I'll give her nine months. And you know, that that's a good time to kind of rest, recover, and you know, just prepare mentally and physically for you know a big title fight. So I think that's a good turnaround for Manon. And it would be a good turnaround for Grasso or Valentina, you know, just to let the champ get back in there since Grasso and Shevchenko have taken such a long time off this time, right? Last time they fought was uh, last year. So this time they can come right back and fight as soon as possible. Or if the option is early next year, that's fine, too. You know, let it be January or February. You know, um, even if it, even if it did get pushed out to March, I could still see Manon coming back and being ready for a title fight then. Because, you know, if we go back and look, you know, Carla Esparza, after she beat Jan Jaunan, she waited nearly a year to fight Rose in their rematch. And she came back and won the title. Right. So sometimes a year off, it can be good. You know, I think for a fighter in Manon's position, it, it it's good. It would be nice to see her fight somebody else. But at this point, I don't really think there's anybody left for her to fight that would really make sense. You know, everybody's kind of a high risk at flyweight. But at the same time, there's really not this huge reward because Manon already fought um, the fighter that was ranked higher than her against Aaron Blanchfield. Because at the time, Aaron was number two and Manon was number three, right? Yeah, because Valentina was number one. So, yeah, Aaron was number two. And um, Manon had dropped to number three since her layoff, you know, from the injury. So she came back, beat Aaron and put herself in the best position, you know, with seven wins in a row. Right. So at this point, yes, yeah, she's in good standing. I mean, there are other good fights out there. Um, I know. Shout out to BJ. We talked about Manon versus Macy Barber. You know, other people have talked about that. But when's Macy Barber coming back? And another question question is. Does Macy Barber want that fight? You know, they didn't want it in the past, I believe. You know, I talked about that. Uh, would Macy want that fight at this point? 
Or would she rather wait for like the winner of Aaron versus Rose? You know, so she's on a nice little win streak. So I don't know if she wants to put that at risk against Manon at this point, if she's not feeling up to it, you know, if she's not a hundred percent yet. So yeah, I really don't think that fight would make sense either. I mean, it would be a good fight. It would definitely be a good fight. I might talk about that in another video, how I think it would go. But at this point, I think where Manon stands, you know, um, I think she's mentally ready because this fight prepared her for, um, you know, this this fight kind of semi prepared her for what it would be like for a title fight. You know, she's going to be there uh, cage side. You know, if the fight does take place, you'll get to see and take notes on Grasso and Shevchenko. And then, you know, whoever the winner is, you know, she'll be ready in December. Right. And, and no need to risk an injury. You know, no need to risk an injury, you know, preparing for another fight or possibly getting hurt in the fight because, you know, she's gotten hurt in the last couple of fights, you know, headbutt against Rose, you know, of course that healed up because it was on, on the side, it wasn't as bad, but then, you know, the torn ligament in the Caitlin Chikagin fight. So I think, you know, what she's doing now, just staying active and being ready for this is going to keep her uh, sharp, even as far as her weight cut, you know, the last weight cut didn't look too good, you know, against um, Aaron, you know, it, it did look rough. So maybe this here will kind of keep her disciplined to stay closer to the weight that she needs to be at for 125 even you know close to the end of the year whenever this uh title fight for her happens so yeah good on Manon to stay prepared and to be locked in as the official backup fighter uh what do you guys think well I'm not going to say I hope she gets it on September 14th it would be nice if she did because you know I, I do want to see her fight for the title because I think she has a good chance to be champion definitely Manon does but I want to see this chapter close. I want to see this chapter officially close between Grasso and Shevchenko. And I want to see Grasso step it up. And see, I want to see Valentina step it. I want to see if Valentina is able to redeem herself and get her belt back. You know, I, I do want to see that. And I want to see if Grasso can legit defend her belt. So I want some questions answered with this title fight here. But of course, if Manon had to step in, that fight's just as good, maybe even better. Guys, let me know what y'all think. Combo Breaker 99. Make sure y'all hit the like button and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.